Let I put it quite frankly. If anybody thinks in South Africa that you can take the land without compensation, you're living in a dream. Let me put it quite frankly to you. If you want to start a civil war in South Africa, do that. Do that. And I told you before, I told you before, that don't misjudge. Hello and welcome to Easy Finance. Today we're getting to know the Minister of Correctional Services who's been staunchly advocating for the death penalty in South Africa. His name is Peter Kronewald. These videos are only for educational purposes. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video for more stories like this. Peter Kronewald is a 68-year-old politician who was born in a typical Afrikaner family and his father was a farmer and his mom was a housewife. Peter Kronewald completed his military service at the Bereda Center in Pochestrum and achieved a B-Juris degree at the Pochestrum campus, which is now known as the Northwest University. He also completed a postgraduate diploma in communications and a master's degree in management and development and a doctorate in politics. Now his journey into politics began in 1989 when he was elected as an MP for Stelfontein constituency standing for the Conservative Party. This background as a member of the Conservative Party is very important as it will get us to understand why he formed the Freedom Front Plus today. Just like the Conservative Party, Freedom Front Plus believes in self-determination, which means that true power lies in the hands of the people. And they also believe in the principle of communities, meaning that communities must govern themselves. This is one of the reasons why Freedom Front Plus put it as a condition to Cyril Ramaphosa that he must recognize Orania as a country within South Africa. Now, in 1994, Ronald co-founded the Freedom Front Plus, a party advocating for minority rights and pro-Africaner nationalism. He was elected to the National Assembly in the same year and served as a member of parliament until 1999. Now, in 1999, he was elected to the Northwest Provincial Legislature. However, he returned to the National Assembly in 2001. Now, over the years, Kronowald has called for the death penalty to be reinstated due to high crimes in South Africa. Now, after several speeches and political pressure, the police appointed a commission of inquiry into farm attacks and murders in 2001. Now, the Freedom Front Plus was the only party that made a submission to the commission. Now, the submission stated that farm murders are politically motivated and that the death penalty must be reinstated. This is one of the principles which they firmly believed in to a point that it's even written on their party's website. Now, Kronewald has held various leadership positions in the Freedom Front Plus, such as parliamentary leader and federal chairperson from 11 August 2011 until 12 November 2016. He was also the provincial leader of the party in the Northwest from March 1994 to March 2017. Now, on 12 November 2016, Kronewald was elected leader of the Freedom Front Plus, succeeding Peter Mulder, who retired from the position. Kronewald led the Freedom Front Plus to achieve its best election result in 2019 general election. The party increased its vote share to 2.38% of the national vote, earning its 10th seat in the National Assembly, its highest representation in the National Assembly since its founding in 1994. Now, additionally, the party won representation in eight of the nine provincial legislatures and largely improved its showing in the provinces of Aoteng and Northwest. Now, just after being appointed as the Minister of Correctional Services, Peter Kronowald publicly stated that he does not want any blue lights as he believed it is a waste of money. Now, the Freedom Front Manifesto on Crime and Safety in South Africa advocates for establishing specialized units to address violent crime and the illegal firearms trade protecting citizens' rights to own firearms and declaring farm attacks a priority crime with adequate resources allocated to the rural safety. Now, his appointment to the Correctional Services Ministry has been met with skepticism as Freedom Front Plus is known for its conservative and nationalistic views. Peter Kronowald is clearly an educated man. Please let us know under the comment section if you believe he will make a good minister and it is no coincidence that he chose this type of ministry as some of the principles that he's been advocating for are well aligned with this Minister of Correctional Services which includes locking up prisoners and also advocating for the death penalty and other forms of controversial policies that will help curb the crime rates in South Africa. This is all we had for you from Peter Kronowald. Please don't forget to subscribe, 
like and share the video